Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining me in this video. Now, um, Andex OT, the executive governor of Fabia State, made a shocking revelation to so many people. For, but for me, I don't think the revelation is shocking. What did he say? Look at, he said, Abia government blames opposition politicians for rising violent attack on soldiers, policemen. Now, I want you to understand just the exact meaning of this topic. Alex Oti is blaming the opposition political parties like APC and PDP. He said because he became governor, so they are trying to raise insecurity, sponsor people to attack soldiers, policemen, so that, so that they will discredit his government that he is not trying. I think this will be strange to you, you listening to me, right? But I'm going to take you through some you know, proofs to tell you that OT is 100% right. You know, in Nigeria, a lot of us believe that once insecurity is happening in the Southeast, oh, it is IPOB, it is ESN, it is Enamde Kano, it is Simon Ekbaden. We forget that most of the things on social media are not true. But if you want to understand what is going on, you carry out an investigation to know what is going on. From across the country, um, there is an evidence, even through the police, Nigerian police have given, uh, what is it called? They have given evidence, proofs, arrests, that politicians are the ones who are sponsoring the most insecurity in Nigeria. Ranging from the northern part of the country, you saw what has been going on, even the current Honorable Minister of Defense state how the governor of Zafara State is accusing him of sponsoring insecurity. The commissioner of police in Zafara State said they arrested House of Assembly member and so on and so forth, that these people are the ones who are sponsoring insecurity. Now, let us come back to what Anders Oti said. Do you know that when Rocha Sokorocha was making statement yesterday, or that was the day before yesterday, during the farewell bid of um, uh, Mr. Oba, the senator who passed on, Rocha Sokorocha made one statement. Listen to him. The question they're asking, Ibos, why do you play the politics of hate? Why do you hate one another? Yes, that is the politics of hate. And I know that that is not enough convincing to you, right? Okay. Hope Zodema was invited to Chinese television to talk more about what he knew about the insecurity in Imo State. He is the governor. In Imo State, there have been a lot of crises, you know, insecurity killings. Now, Sheung was asking him, tell us, be sincere, what is the major problem causing insecurity in the Southeast? Look at what Hopo Zodema said. Take a listen. But incrementally, lives were lost. Incrementally, assets were destroyed. Incremental, incrementally, police stations were destroyed and burnt down. Individual homes. Some targeted politicians were also, their houses were burnt. So we have to, we took personal interest to begin to investigate the reason behind this. I told you times without number in Imo State, some of the cases of banditry here are politically contrived. Some are the real attacks by bandits. So I think that the kind of politics with bitterness that is going on in the state and some part of this uh, uh, region should really be condemned. And that is why we have decided to embark on both kinetic and non-kinetic approach. Now, you heard him right. The politics of hatred, in other words, the, the politicians, he admonished, he, he even agreed that politicians are the ones who are sponsoring insecurity. Now, let me ask you, who are the, these politicians who are sponsoring insecurity in the Southeast? You know, when you keep on your mind to what does not exist, you will never have the solution to what is existing. So these are the issues why I am beginning to believe that, um, yeah, in the Southeast, the most insecurity challenges you are seeing are not from Biafra agitators. Bye -bye. They are not from Biafra agitators. Because I personally, I have done my research and so on and so forth. I do not say that um, there is no retardation from people that um, are agitating. I do not say so. because. I took time to carry out my research to find out what and what is really going on. And I discovered that when someone wins an election or they rig him into office or Supreme Court declare him into office, other people will not fold their hands looking at him. They will make sure that they will do all sorts of things to make sure they call the person back.
bad leader. Just like what uh, Soludo was doing against Pitobi when Pitobi was running for president. He was writing later that Pitobi can be president and so on and so forth. So what is the essence of these politics of hate? Sponsoring insecurity and blaming Nambekano, of which he is innocent and he knows nothing about the insecurity challenges going on. So now let us look into the reason why Alex Oti said this. Now, here is the details of the articles. Let us understand why Alex Oti is saying that opposition, opposition politicians are behind all this attack. Now it reads, the Abia state government has accused oppos opposition politicians of being behind the recent wave of violent attacks targeting military and police personnel in the state. The government said it believed that unpatriotic opposition politicians in connivance with external forces are orchestrating the violence. The statement followed the killing of two soldiers last Wednesday at a checkpoint in Okenobizi, Omo Opara, a community in Omaha South local government area which borders Imo State. The government position was communicated in a statement released by the Special Advisor to the Governor on Media and Publicity, Mr. Ferdinand Ekeoma, on Tuesday. Ekeoma also revealed that the state government had launched a new counter-offensive aimed at dismantling any criminal networks operating within Abia. He explained that the government was out for a total war against the perpetrators of the violence in Abia State. Hence. Citizens are enjoined not to harbor any person or persons they do not know to avoid falling victims. The statement reads, It has been firmly established that some unpatriotic politicians in connivance with some external parties are behind the current wave of violence and crime in the state since the end of May this year. The sole agenda is to cause disaffection and distract the government from its focus on the development of the state. He noted that based on tip-off from patriotic citizens and reliable intelligence, the government has firmly established that the opposition with external parties was really behind the growing violence in the Abia state. Out of court. You know, this is totally contrary to what everyone has been saying that, oh, this is from IPOB, this is from Namde Kano. Now, the question I'm asking now is, is it that these oppositions are those people that their political leaders don't want Namde Kano to come out? So many, um, so many Southeast politicians, they have never even raised their voice to speak about the ruins of Namde Kano. Someone like uh, David Omar, you understand. So, the question we are asking uh, Oti now is, who are these people? Who are they? I think you should name them. Name them, but anyway, what Oti said is very interesting because people who have carried out research about insecurity in the southeast could further, you know, be convinced that the eighty percent of insecurity going on there are sponsored by politicians. Now let me go back to the articles and it continues. With the latest attack, no fewer than eight troops have been killed by Hondolun since the first attack occurred on May 19, 2024, followed by a second one on May 30, which claimed five soldiers. Police personnel have also fallen victims to the bloody attacks. A Kiyoma further explained that the attacks constituted a new strategy adopted by the opposition to disrupt governance after they realized that their initial efforts at churning out lies and calling out lies and fabrications against the government failed to gel with Abians. According to the statement, the Abia state opposition politicians have been engaging in intense and vicious propaganda against the ex administration, or in the guise of playing opposition politics. Ekeoma said that the pretentious posturing of the government's distractors has failed to gain currency among Abia people, who have thoroughly ignored them and their antics since they know the truth. The peaceful the position of other state government as acknowledged locally, nationally, and internationally should not be taken for granted as we will not yield to blackmail or intimidation. It needs to be understood that the government will not sit idly by and watch any person or group of persons unleash violence on innocent and peaceful loving citizens of the state. He stated, the Abia government therefore won those behind the attacks on security agents and innocent civilians, including the kidnapping of law-abiding citizens, to retrace their steps or face direct consequences. The Abia government will bring its full capacity and institutional forces to bear to smoke out the people involved in creating anarchy and instilling fear in the mind of Abians and visitors. 
He said the state government led by Governor Alex Otis prepared and equal to the tax of safeguarding the lives and property of the people living in any part of Abia State and will execute this noble obligation to the fullness without net or hindrance. Why urging all innocent and peace-loving Abian residents to go about their legitimate businesses without fear or panic, as the government is determined to ensure their protection at all times? A Kelma stated that criminal elements will be rooted. Well, that is what um, the spokesperson to the Abia State Governor, Alex Oti, have said. Now, what do you think about this situation? Let me know on the comment section.